Hi, in this video I'm going to explain uh, what is a variance and how we can find the variance of the given numbers. So here's a problem. What is the variance of the following numbers? And here's the numbers and here's the answer. So if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So first of all, I want to tell you that uh, the first time I tried to solve this problem, I didn't find uh, the correct answer here. And this is because there uh, exist two formulas in uh, order how we can solve this problem. So we can solve this problem uh, if uh, all these numbers represent a population. And also we can solve it if these numbers represent a sample of population. So we are going to get, of course, uh, different answers. And um, the first uh, formula for population, so population, so the first formula is uh, sigma equal to sum of x i minus x bar squared and divided by n. So this is formula for population. You may also find different notation of this formula, but uh, I just use a simplified form. So uh, another one would be for sample. And here is a formula s squared uh, equal to sum of the difference and divided by n minus 1. So as you see, this is uh, the only difference here. Um, and uh, I find that the correct answer is when we use this formula here. So uh, the problem here should state that uh, this is sample, uh, this numbers of the sample. So once again, imagine that we have, for example, a field, or this can be uh, a cage, for example. Uh, in a field, we may have uh, plants of the variable sizes. In a cage we may have, uh, for example, uh, rabbits of the different uh, size or weight. And for example here, in a population, when we use these numbers here, we would have uh, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 10 uh, variables. And if we would take a sample, uh, we would have uh, here all these numbers of the sample, 3, 4, 6, 10, and 7. So as you see, this is just a sample. And of course, uh, in the whole population, we might get uh, also 11 and, uh, for example, 2, 8, 9, um, and, uh, for example, uh, 11 again. So, uh, as you see, uh, this sample that we take uh, wouldn't be as exact uh, as when we take um, all these numbers for the population. Uh, because, as you see here, we may have different frequencies of different numbers, and some uh, can be more extreme than what we have here. So here we have 2, we don't have 2 here. Uh, here we have 11, we don't have 11 here. So 10 is the biggest number here. So uh, sample always would be would include uh, more uh, error than uh, when we do, uh, when we solve for the population. When, uh, for example, if this is going to be rabbits, this would be our whole population of uh, five rabbits. So there shouldn't be mistake here. But here, 
uh, mistake can be, as you see, because we don't know uh, all the other representatives of this population. We just take a small uh, sample of that uh, population. So I'm going to use this formula here because uh, uh, answers here is given for a sample. So uh, what should we do? First, uh, we have to find x bar. So this is going to be mean of these numbers. And this is easy. So x bar would equal to 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 10 and divide it uh, by the uh, n and uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so divide it by 5 so uh, don't be confused uh, here we have n minus 1 but uh, here we have just uh, we have to find the mean of these numbers so we don't uh, apply this rule n minus 1 uh, in order to find the mean of these numbers we just divide by the number by the quantity of these numbers so it is 5 and uh, here we have uh, 3 plus 4 um, 7 plus 6 13 plus 7 20 and 30 divided by 5 so 30 divided by 5 and this give us a mean uh, of these numbers 6 so now with the uh, second step we have to find uh, the difference a square difference of this mean and this numbers so xi stands for the set of numbers for example this can be x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 and uh, just for short abbreviation we just use xi here instead of x uh, 1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 so we just use xi here in the formula that is stands for the uh, set of numbers so uh, what we do now we have to um, find the difference of each number so 3 minus um, mean that we find in our previous step 3 minus 6 squared would be uh, 9 uh, then 4 minus 6 squared would be 4 and next number is 6 6 minus 6 squared would equal to 0 and 7 minus 6 squared would equal to 1 and 10 minus 6 squared would equal to 16 so uh, now we just left uh, the last step we have to find the sum of these uh, differences squared and we find these numbers so this is differences um, this is uh, what we have here in this uh, parenthesis and now we have to find uh, the sum so uh, 9 plus 0 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 divided and this time we should use this n minus 1 so we have 1 2 uh, 3 4 5 numbers here and uh, n minus 1 would be 4 so here on top uh, we would have uh, 4 oh sorry 9 plus 0 9 
plus 16, uh, 25, and plus uh, 4, 29, plus 1, 30. So here we would have 30 divided by 4, and this is going to be 7.5. And we have such an answer. So this is going to be answer C. And also I want to add that uh, uh, if we use this formula, if we know that these numbers represent population, uh, our variance would be smaller than when we use uh, these numbers and use the formula uh, as a sample of population, because uh, uh, here we also have to include uh, some uh, probability of mistake. And uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.